Welcome to ETH Daily, a daily briefing on the latest in Ethereum. Aave Governance votes to activate Aave v3 on Ethereum. MakerDAO approves a 100 million USDC deposit into Yearn. Core developers deploy the first Shanghai mainnet shadow fork. And Miso Finance expands to Arbitrum. All this and more from ETH Daily starts right now. A proposal to activate the Aave v3.0.1 deployment on Ethereum mainnet is now live. The proposal marks the final steps in a highly anticipated v3 upgrade, which brings higher composability to the protocol. Pre-approved assets on the new deployment include Wrapped Bitcoin, Wrapped Ether, WST ETH, USDC, DAI, LINK, and Aave. Aave Governance previously decided to do a fresh contract deployment for v3 on Ethereum, instead of upgrading v2 contracts. This means users will need to migrate their existing positions from v2 to v3 on Ethereum. Aave v3 is already live on Polygon, Avalanche, Arbitrum, Optimism, Phantom, and Harmony. Maker Governance approved a proposal to deposit up to 100 million USDC from its USDC peg stability module into a vault on Yearn Finance. The proposal is still subject to a subsequent executive vote before assets from MakerDAO's reserves can be moved. MakerDAO aims to generate about 2% APY through a custom DeFi strategy. Maker's strategies involve USDC positions on Aave, Compound, Angle Protocol, Stargate Finance, and Idle Finance. Only members approved by MakerDAO will have access to the custom vault. The capital from MakerDAO also boosts revenue for Yearn, which takes a 20% performance fee on each harvest. Yearn currently holds just under a half billion dollars in total value locked. Ethereum developer Marius van der Wijgen shared that the first mainnet shadow fork for beacon chain withdrawals was successfully deployed. A shadow fork mirrors the state of the network onto a testnet, allowing developers to test various upgrade scenarios. Ethereum's Shanghai upgrade, which will enable staking withdrawals, is planned for March. With Jin also shared that developers will spin up evil nodes to battle test the fork. So called evil nodes propagate invalid blocks and messages to the network in an effort to deceive honest nodes to join the bad chain. Developers plan to deploy a public Shanghai testnet in the coming weeks. An initial pre Shanghai testnet was deprecated in December. Tyco, an EVM equivalent ZK rollup, published its Q4 2022 recap covering the network's research and development efforts. Tyco publicly unveiled its Layer 2 ZK rollup in October and deployed a public testnet in December. Tyco removed proposer and prover whitelisting to enable permissionless participation. Tyco's developments are also open source, allowing developers to fork and experiment with the ZK EVM implementation. In Q4, Tyco implemented a bridge relay in Go, built a UI for the bridge, fixed several bugs, and made improvements to MPT circuit. Tyco's research includes Kalk, Hyperplonk, and Plonky2 proof systems. And lastly, Structured Yield Protocol Miso Finance announced plans to deploy on Arbitrum 1. A deployment on the Arbitrum Gorly testnet is now live with a wrapped Ether and USDC pool. Miso launched on Ethereum earlier this month with an initial RETH and wrapped Ether pool, which offers leveraged and fixed interest positions. According to Miso, loans on the platform are free from liquidation risks. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories from ETH Daily. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us on Twitter at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.substack.com. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.